Hello and welcome to the back night of round one of the 2024 Ledgestone Open presented by Grip EQ. This is our, what does that say? 13th. It's yeah, 13th stop. <laughs> I, I'm Erica Sinchko. I'm Madison Walker. <laughs> We're the two hoggies. Hog. I'm missing my glasses, but you look great. <laughs> I look so cool right now. <laughs> uh, we got nine more holes at Sunset Hills and we get to play here for all four rounds this week. It was sunny out there today. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> Missy Gannon and Ella Hansen four down leading our feature card. Holland Hanley and Eli Elisra Middling uh, just finding a couple bogeys there at the end. They're two down. Elisra with a four for four start. Yeah. In an unbelievable way. Um, Holly Finley leading the way. A lot of people well under par. Uh, leave a note in the comments whether you think the front nine's easier, the back nine's easier, a.k.a. am I right or is Madison right? Yeah, we really need to know. It's a very important. Hole <laughs> 10 is a par three. Uh, different pin position this year. Uh, it's 301 feet, plays farther, I think. OB line on the left. The pin used to be right here, kind of parallel in between those two bushes. Now it's a much farther shot. Um, and instead of going to the left of those those trees you're trying to punch through the middle there's also an ob line on the kind of the edge of the shed that's on the right there that's really easy to find um it's oh. a difficult line yeah let's do a check-in with Paige Shu. we're throwing it right at the bush on the right side that's kind of a common landing zone either that bush or the big willow tree on the left is where a lot of discs get caught up just trying not to go ob check out this big jump putt yeah come on <laughs> I love the run up. Yes, we love seeing Paige on the cameras. And this is, I think, gonna play as a very difficult birdie. It, it was difficult before, but I think it's harder personally. Ella trying to work the hyzer route. It's risky because of that shed, but it works. Uh, she got a little, a little luck, a little kick in the right direction, but she had all the power for sure. Yeah, I can't quite pick the line that I think is the best here. I kind of just go right up the gut. And it kind of just feels like, yeah, it's hard to do this clean unless you're Missy Gannon. Oh, and even she didn't quite get all the way through. It's just such a dead straight line. You can't really flex it too much without bringing those trees into play. Holland taking it, trying to take a, a low linear route, but sh again... <laughs> Again, a little low, but has enough power to yeah. just go through everything. All right. I don't really understand what just happened. She I went to the right turned. of the, it was, it was like in between, it was on the right side of that bush. Just had an obscene amount of power. Yeah. Uh, Ellie going to hit the shed. Hopefully she dropped safe. I think she did. Oh, wow. She hit it with so much force that not only is it safe, it's 30 feet away from. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little forehand chip, kind of a technical shot up to the green. My guess was that there's going to be like just a couple of birdies on this one a day. Let's see if Missy can do it. This is pretty, a pretty normal looking putt on this hole from right in that bush. Holland also circle two but more open. Mm, strong looking bid. Ella has the last opportunity to get a birdie on this one. And put a little golden sombrero on that red-headed woodpecker. Yes, ma'am. And guess what? She was one of eight birdies. Dang it. Isn't that wild? That's more than I expected Me for too. sure. Even though- How many were circle two putts? Uh, three of them. Okay. Three circle two putts out of eight. That's Even though this is 300 feet, it's slightly uphill, plays a little farther. And, and like Erica was saying, it's mo mostly the, the line, the angle that's difficult here, not necessarily the distance. All right. Well, turns out um, that's about how many people were birdieing it before. So it's exactly the same level of difficulty. It's not even hard. It's still hard. I'm just kidding. Just, that was sarcastic. It's, not, it's really hard. It's not harder is what I'm saying than it was. We're just better. Uh, we're just better. Okay. We're just better. Okay. Looks like Holly's still leading the way. You got a handful of people, including Ella Hansen, at five down. Hole 11. Downhill 393 feet, but you don't really play it like a downhill hole unless you have a huge forehand because you have to go out for a while before you can start your way down towards this green. 
couple of things you're worried about here flipping a disc over you can definitely find that little green pond on the right of the green to the left there's an ob line in the tall grass you can find that if you hyzer out as well kind of air one out and of course you're worried about these early trees you worry too much <laughs> i know <laughs> ella with a nice looking line she's going to get tangled up just a teeny bit early yeah it looks like a short circle two look if that's a thing Mm -hmm. Missy with that Captain's Thrasher again okay. burns a little early. I'm glad to see both of these drives kind of looking like they're stopping out of nowhere. I, I felt like all the tee shots on my card were just dropping out of the sky. Yeah, well, it, they tend to do that on that right side, I think. Yeah, I don't they, know. They just stop. Holland going to come up. Kind of surprisingly short, deep in circle two. I would say that's where like a large part of the field is landing Holland that don't have Holland's distance. Yeah, Holland kind of looking like she's favoring her shoulder. I wonder if something's going on there. This looks like a good shot from Ellie getting just outside the bullseye. It's a great shot. That looked very easy. <laughs> ESP force. There were less birdies on hole 11 than hole 10. I'm very surprised by that. Only five birdies on 11 as com as compared to the eight on hole 10. See if Holland can get one from outside circle two. Her circle two putting is looking pretty dang strong. Mm -hmm. Ella trying to go six in a row. Gonna air that one out to the right. It's going to be a par. Can't get them all, bud. <laughs> Ellie finally finding a birdie after bagging a couple bogeys in the last few holes. She'll be the only one on our feature card to get this one. Yeah, even though this one is wide open, it's oddly technical mm -hmm. with the hill. It's hard to get inside the circle. Without taking a massive risk. Yeah. Because that pond can come into play pretty quickly if you just throw it as hard as you can. And it's so gross in there. You don't want to go get your disc from there. <laughs> Probably. Holly Finley still holding on to the lead. Six down through 11. Owen and Ella Hansen tied at five down right behind. Hole 12 has a new tee pad, which we've definitely needed. We've been teeing from the cart path. Uh, so it changes the angle. We used to be farther to the right. It lengthens the hole a little bit. Now it's 383 feet, but it's actually quite reachable because it's downhill by anyone in the field. It's definitely a pump though. You can see the OB. Is, that a, is it painted or is it string? It's a painted line, I think, on yeah. the right, uh, pulled off the water. You can find that water really easily if you push too straight and don't fade in hard enough. So that's a common error. The, Probably most common is hyzering out too early, ending up on the side hill and having kind of an awkward approach. Like Kelly this is, yeah, the bailout play. Yeah, it doesn't quite commit to it. She might actually find OB left. Oh, is that, yeah, that teeing area is OB. Uh huh. The like ball golf teeing area. Yeah, it's up high on the hill, but if you just throw it a little too hard and early, it's there. Ella putting it more out over the water. This is how you got to play it to get there. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. That's, That's a so fluky. Really brutal break for a good shot. Man, one clips one little branch, mean little roll. Missy Heiser flipping a disc up that right side, heading towards the same tree. Wow. Yep, comes in great inside the circle. Beautiful. Holland a little more low and linear. I love this. Looks like it just needs to get past those trees. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. Yes. So good. That was on a rope. That was a, her ESP vulture. Yeah, let's follow flight it. And just like, a, I love how it just lays down too. It's not even necessarily a spike. It just comes in perfect. Yeah, you do see quite a few rollaways on this one. And this just sits nice and pretty. 
Beautiful. So good. This plate is the third most difficult hole of the day. And that's a, lot, a large in part due to these approaches. Yeah, look at this awkward little blind approach. Even, even if it is- It a, rolled. Uh, I was about to say, even if it is a good approach, it, every single one can roll. And the OB comes up so fast. There is a log that blocks some of the rolls closer to the circle, but- Yeah, even just laying up, as Mad said on this one, is, uh, is so difficult because they can roll. I hope that's not OB again. Don't- I think that one, the OB line is painted on top okay. of the log. Still, a couple of rough breaks for Ella here. Oh, oh man. Oh man, double feels rough out here, especially with a pretty good drive. It was a great drive. Yeah, Missy for birdie. She's gonna move to five down. And Ella gonna drop out of that tie for a second. Ellie with the OB stroke. Gonna have to settle for bogey. There were only three birdies on this hole today. Yeah, this one always plays pretty difficult. We got to watch two of the three. The other was Cadence Burge made a circle two putt. I think we'll see more birdies on this one in the next few days, but on a windy day, this hole I think could really bite some people. Definitely. Glad to see the new tee pad though. Ooh, double shift. Fancy. Moving into the final little loop of holes on the side of the property hole 13. It's 280 feet uphill place, closer to 320. A lot of players lay up short side of this because this is an island. You are allowed to lay up and just pitch across and take your par. If you go for the island, any of your tee shots landing out of bounds go to a drop zone that's about, what, 50 feet, 45, 50 I feet away? Closer to 60, 50, okay. 60. Far. <laughs> it's a circle two putt. Missy just doing the layup here. Oh, I'm wrong. Whoa, wait, that's so weird. Was she, was that on purpose? Was she left side, but in? Was that on purpose to try to do I, the left gap? I'm very confused. I'm also flabbergasted. So, I would love to rewind. Me too. Uh, Holland going for it, finding that left side tree, but kicking back in bounds. So the line that Missy took is not on purpose. It is completely it blind. No, no, there's no way. Most players, if they're going for it, going to take this gap that yeah. Ellie is doing a really nice job with. Yeah. As long as you hit that gap, most of the time you're going to land safe. But you can tell it doesn't feel good. You're always like, oh, is that it? Yeah, completely blind. Ella, a little early here. And she's going to come up short. Yeah, the it's a circle that she's probably only a few feet short of and is going to have to take it back at that drop zone. Holland, fortunate to bounce back and be in bounds, gives it a soft bid there. So 10 players overall. Yeah, look how far the, this is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is far. 10 players uh, out of 46 went for it and made it onto the island. I wish I could tell how many went for it and didn't. Yeah, it's it's just a little harder than in previous years with that gap being grown in. And yeah. So it just doesn't really feel worth it. Like you gotta be feeling really good to wanna go for this one. Like Missy, great pot too. Yeah, both trees have definitely grown out and the gap is much narrower. It's very far off the tee pad. But I, I don't know, I like to go for it because I feel like I will just mess up the layup. And if I'm, Which is the worst feeling in the exactly. world. I'd rather just take a bogey <laughs> than risk messing that up. Holland with a 
Nice little fortunate tree kick to get that par. There were eight birdies on this hole today. I played in the top five most difficult holes just from lack of birdies. Yeah, I do like this hole though. I like that it makes you choose. Mm -hmm. Ellie with one of those eight birdies. Battling back from a few bogeys in the middle of the round. Hole 14 is a par 3, 329 feet OB lines on both sides. They brought in the left side quite a bit from previous years. It's not where it's mowed. It's about 20, 30 feet in from there. Um, reachable by everyone in the field. There's some branches on the right that kind of feel like they're in your way. They're really not, but they feel like they're in your way. <laughs> and then a few trees to avoid on the green. This is one, I don't know. For me, it's like, why am I not parking this every single time? And it's just like the perfect amount of technicality, yeah. especially with the OB line on the left side pulled off early. Mm -hmm. I don't it just that being in your face makes it a little harder. It does bubble out as you get to the T, though. So it, I mean, as you get to the basket, though, so it's nice to be able to still feel like you can play aggressive. It's always kind of a weird wind on this hole, too. And that yeah, it is in the way. It's in the way. It is. In Give the myself way. more credit. Yeah. Uh, Ellie going to. Drop into OB after catching that right side tree. Yeah, and at, at 329, it's you can't just kind of dummy a hyzer yeah. up there either. It's got to be a flexing shot or a hyzer flip. So it is technical for sure. All in, go again, going deep at the pin. Yeah, but that's great. Yep. Ella trying to get some green on the scorecard after going plus three on the last two holes. Yeah, that's pretty rough out here. She's going way deep. And finding OB. Ouch. It's hard to say where she last crossed. This line goes runs up all the way up the right side, and it it's one of those holes where you can accidentally go out of bounds really early, not even trying to take a big risk. Ellie, kind of on that birdie bogey train, looking at another bogey. It's like Heiser, so it's like, it? it's like a foot off the line. Is that two, two foot or two? Yeah, it's like a foot. Yeah, I don't yeah, understand why there's no stakes over there. Ella going to have to take it kind of early, kind of carried straight most of the way over that OB. Dang. Pretty brutal few holes. Missy for another birdie. Moves to seven. Wow. Nice little turkey. Classic Missy too, just kind of doing it casually, slowly, nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. Just but tr trickling them out. Super good. Holland. Great putt. Another birdie on the scorecard. Holland not quite playing great today, but it's still working. She's made some good putts. She's th thrown some good shots, but you, I know she's not happy with her round. Yeah. I mean, four down with, what does she have? Like two bogeys, mm -hmm. three bogeys? That's, that's, that's a lot of not bad, but she's definitely, yeah, not quite happy with her performance. But it's, a, it's not a sprint here. We got four whole rounds out here. Mm -hmm. It's it's cool at this course, even though you are pressured to get uh, birdies, uh, you also, if you start messing things up, like Ella just did three holes in a row, having a rough time, she can just birdie out from here. You can say that at any moment you can. on the course. I can birdie every hole, and I will. <laughs> so, <laughs> hole 15 is one that it's really hard to say that. You're really like pushing yourself, saying you're going to birdie this one. It's 555 feet, but it's, I think, the most technical hole on the course. You have to throw a tee shot that goes really, really far and straight before you get to this dog leg. The out of bounds on that left hand corner can really bite you, whether you go in there off the tee early or if your second shot gets out of your hand, it can make the shot or the um, hole a lot more difficult and really easy to re or difficult to recover a par. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> There is a low hanging branch that we see Missy kind of bug buzz off the tee. Oh my <laughs> god. They trimmed it this year. So it does make the hole a little easier. <laughs> Let's watch Holland throw. Going big turnover shot. It's panning out nicely. 
and I'm gonna be pinned up on a tree. It's a strange spot that's farther than most people land. The right side's not bad, but you end up having to throw kind of up a little side hill and it makes the tunnel a bit more difficult. I love this. Well, that's a great shot from Ellie. So difficult to get to the gap and land on the flat surface like that. I mean, that's that a was, dream. That is perfect. Let's see, that was Both? a 2023 Cole Radolin pipeline. And I want to say that's about 340 that she just threw. A lot of the players only really getting to that 320 foot distance, and it makes it hard to attack on the second shot. A lot of players forced to just do a pitch up to the corner or maybe just bite a little bit off. Mm hmm. I love the sidearm from Ella. It was mm -hmm. a big shot, too. Missy just playing for par here. Really aggressively? What the heck? <laughs> what? I know. No way. It's so good. That, <laughs> that's so good. That's such a technical shot. She had to throw I a hyzer flip up the right side. I thought she was way too pinched. That's amazing. That was amazing. Holland going to come in a little early, and she is behind that, unfortunately, behind that wall of trees that make it really tough to recover any sort of a putt. It is crazy that Ella's forehand is big enough to get all the way to this really prime landing zone, and it does just look so casual. She's going to come up just a touch short on that approach, though. 10 out of 10 style points for grabbing that. Mm -hmm. Ellie in just the perfect spot. Almost too perfect. So perfect that you can't mess it up. <laughs> yeah. And then you do. I like it because you get to this, the, these last couple of holes, and it's like, ooh, I'm kind of playing like woods golf all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm having to hit gaps after playing a wide open golf course. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? That was just like 70 feet. What? Stand still, hyzer. But yes, please, let's see that, that again. That was just a layup, I feel like. She no. Was, I she mean, was picking her stuff up. <laughs> She, that was a layup. That just went well. That's awesome. Holy cow. Ball don't lie. On that birdie bogey train in a really fantastic way this time. Unbelievable. Yeah, you keep running all the way back. That was a lot of distance to cover. Yeah. Ella for a long look for birdie as well. Uh-oh. Oh. It always hurts to get big putted out here. That was a good run. <laughs> good layup. Big putted from 60. I was outside circle too. I was 70-something. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to settle for par. Missy. Gosh, I can't believe that second shot. Unreal. Four in a row. You know what that means. <laughs> the uh, red-headed woodpecker yeah. is back again. Three times. This is why Missy always wins the uh, Ledstone event we're playing at Northwood. She's so good at throwing those really high-speed discs down very technical wooded fairways. So impressive. It's good you picked a common regional bird because we've seen three of them so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. They're common out here. They're yeah. all over the place. Yeah. They're friendly. <laughs> Man, Miss Missy, eight down with four in a row. What a great back nine. At a four-way tie at five under. Still got a goose in the top 10, honk. honk. Hole 16 is a par three, 352 feet. Uh, this kind of left to right shape makes it difficult. There is an OB line on the left. Trouble on the right too if you overturn it. Love the sidearm if you have it. Otherwise you see just kind of a late flipping backhand turnover shot. This is one that I'm thrilled to get in the circle. It's pretty difficult yeah, with that last tree there. It's a very long turnover shot, or it, a lot of players might try to go for this flex shot, but it brings that tree into play that Missy's barely missing. So good. So good. Missy's great at always, like not necessarily trying to attack the pin. Mm -hmm. She's just attacking the entire circle. So she gives herself a look every time. Really admire that about her golf game. Ellie trying to flex something up there, a little late release, and she'll be in circle two, potentially with a putt. Holland not really happy with this out of her hands, it sounds like, although it's not bad. Not bad at all. Did you hear? Yeah. It sounded like she was like, oh she man. Went, 
Uh, just inside the circle for a birdie. <laughs> Ella going to show us the forehand. The camera I, angle here is like deceiving. It makes this hole look like it's really easy. It's not. No, it's not. Uh, there was only three. I want to spoil it. Oh, come it. on. No, just, Everyone knows exactly what you were about to I say. I just spoiled it. I'm sorry. Everyone knows there's seven birdies now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Ellie trying to drop another circle to plus putt in. But yeah, you can see a lot of circle two bits here. Uh, 21 competitors got to circle two in regulation. Only four got to circle one. So difficult. Here's two it's of like them. It's like a classic late flip hole. Holland in the bucket, moving to five down. Holland, one of only three birdies today. I didn't <laughs> what? I know. Only three. Isn't that crazy? Shocking. Two. Missy going to get the one of the other ones. Who was the third? Third was Own. Probably throwing a forehand. Flex. Flex sidearm, I bet. Let's, I Which bet means it was, it was a flexing a backhand, backhand around the right. Obviously a backhand. <laughs> Ellie um, in there for a bar. <laughs> Looked just as surprised as that 70-footer <laughs> that that stuck. Ella's still at one down, just that rough stretch. Only two to go. Missy, huh. nine down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. She also has a little golden sombrero on her red-headed woodpecker. <laughs> this tractor is not there. <laughs> <laughs> hole 17, the tractor hole. <laughs> uh, there's OB all the way down the left-hand side. There's a uh, Mando on the right-hand side that you have to avoid over right by that little uh, drop zone sign you could see. Ideally, you just want to get as far as you can to make this second shot short and easy because the gap is a little bit blind to the rest of the fairway and it's a forehand shot. You can throw a backhand as well, but it's really technical. You don't necessarily want to come in with a lot of speed as well because you can go past the basket really easily. We like a, four, a little chippy forehand into the green. Lisa doing a great job of working to the left side of the fairway, opening up that gap for her second shot as well. Lisa, five down right now. She's on one of the earlier cards in the morning. Just shredding nice and early. You can see that blind gap that Mad was talking about. You have to fade at the exact right moment, but you're still often left with a putt like this. It is very steep downhill. Lisa floating it in from circle two. That is such a risky putt. And moves to six down, very nice. Second shot on this hole is so tough. Let's watch Paige from second feature card. Her it's drive. Turn more than you want. Yeah, she's going to be flirting over there with the mandatory. Has a very pinched sidearm. Oh man, a lot of work left to do. And she's going backhand. So blind. Touchy. Wow. Okay. Yep. A lot of work left for the par here. She's. Deep in circle two. Another death butt. Wow. <laughs> what a par save. Huge putt. Downhill. You miss that. It's gone forever. <laughs> Sounded like she was playing with own. <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> Missy after five in a row. Wild. There's a teeny bit of a headwind on this hole, slash right to left crosswind. She's gonna be a little bit more on that right side than you would like. Holland, several of these ladies have the power to get down there and so far left that they can actually kind of see the gap. We've seen that in previous years. This looks like a good enough shot where this hole is gonna look very easy for Holland. That's so but, freaking far. And, but it, even though they do have that distance and of course it makes it easy, that shot is very high risk. Oh, yeah. Like they're pushing. You can see Ellie's doing the same thing, pushing that right side tree line the whole way and then hyzering towards the out of bounds that pinches as you get that far down the fairway. Yep. Ellie going to catch that right side tree. Hasn't missed the mandatory, but we saw, you know, it's pretty difficult over there. Ooh, Ella trying to turn this one. It's fine, okay. but not, I don't think, what she wanted. Yeah, a little bit of an early release, but thankfully 
She did not throw an overstable disc. She's still set up to birdie here. That's great. Even though she's in the rough on the right side of the green, she's got a more level putt. So we'll see if it's not too obstructed, hopefully. The old Missy forehand coming out to play. Which is a little too deep. So many discs land in that corner where we saw Lisa Fakus make that putt. Ellie with just a little chip, a little more pinch than you'd like to be. She's also going to be tangled up right near Missy's disc. Holland able to throw a backhand putter shot. Unreal. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's it. so easy. So easy. Disc she golf can is see easy. The basket. Mm -hmm. Is Missy running it? Yeah. Unclear. Unclear. <laughs> I feel like that was a layup. Must have been kind of pinched. Ellie has a little bit more of a look. Yeah, some awkward footing for sure. Just outside the circle. Leaves it short. Ooh, Ella's super obstructed on the right side. Dang. A uh, quarter of the field birdieing this hole. Oh, that's Thir more than I would have guessed. Yeah, 13 out of 46 competitors. Dang. Ellie missing that comebacker. That's a bogey. That definitely hurts. This is one of those holes where everyone's like, yeah, I can get it. Mm -hmm. Should get it. But you never quite know. Yeah, I feel like the, that number is going to fluctuate wildly. It can every day for sure, it, especially when you add in how sloped this green is. Rollaways are definitely a factor. And pretty much everyone can get a circle two putt. Mm -hmm. But it's really difficult to get in circle one. And even if you do get in circle one, we saw Ella. It's a lot of obstructed putting here. Holland going to take the only birdie on the card, moves to six down. I feel like Ella looks a little tired. Yeah, she looks a little defeated. <laughs> a little tired. Hopefully she gets some good sleep. Uh-huh. Own Scoggins and Solo second at seven down. Holland in a three-way tie at six down for third. Hole 18 is a par three, 383 feet downhill, then a little bit back uphill. You can see that area where the tents are, all of that concrete is out of bounds. Um, was it mostly a headwind? It was windy on this one. Yes, it was a headwind. Um, yeah, so a little bit difficult to get there. The only mistake you really can't make is turning it too far to the right, going out of bounds. Uh, you see most women going for it and then bailing out a little bit early on the left side as the mistake to make. Ideally, you'd love to just park it though. Everyone can reach this. Even though it's 383, it's reachable. It's overall downhill. You just have to be very aggressive and really trust your disc, especially with the wind today. Lisa with a great flex shot. A little bit of a scary putt, but no problem. Yeah. And again, Lisa went early. She's one of the first cards out. So she was out there with this seven down. So people that looked at scores and like knew the number mm -hmm. they, that was out there for a long time. I don't look, but they probably do. <laughs> I don't either. Holland, looking solid so far with the six down. You, you've watched today. There's a lot more out there for her. She's one of the people with a lot of potential to hit double digits. Oh, wow. Almost hitting the basket. ESP vulture to finish. <laughs> Missy trying to get that double digit under par. Put some turn on this thing and doesn't quite come back. She's going to burn a little bit early just outside of circle two. Ooh, forehand. You don't really see this. I love this play if you got it. She's probably the only one who has it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she Solid. got it. I think that's inside the circle. Mm -hmm. That's great.
Ella makes me want to come back out here and try all the forehands. <laughs> wow. That's Ellie. pumped. Oh, oh man. my gosh. Little ace run to finish. God, she has so much power. Dang, that was looking great. ESP force here. What wind? Wow, Pin, just the exact right height, great angle. I thought I was gonna jump left. <laughs> She's all defensive. <laughs> Missy, one long look, just gives it a little layup. She probably knows she's leading the tournament at this point. Yeah, no reason to go crazy right there. Some weird footing on that hi side hill. Ella definitely going to run this one. Yes! Oh, what a putt to finish. I thought she was in circle one. That was a nice, like, deep circle two. And yeah. Ella, I'm sure not happy with that, but let's finish it with a slow mez and live to fight another day. Way to finish it on a strong note. Set the pace for tomorrow. Ella's one of only seven birdies today on hole 18. Ellie to finish her round with a birdie as well. This is low right. Yeah, we saw Ellie's putt kind of Take a hit towards the end of the round. Holland to move to seven down, which I think is a tie for second. We will double check that. And Holland with a really clean back nine, five down on the back. Just a few mistakes in the front. Dang. Yeah, we hate to see it. Ellie does have kind of a powerful putt as well. Oh, probably so nervous now too. Great job not changing anything. Yeah, but finishing bummer. one under after a four for four start. Yeah, and with a lot of putting woes on the last couple holes. Missy, nine down. Casual nine down. Casual nine Relaxed. down. Relaxed. Missy, I think she would look exactly the same if she shot two over. Exactly. <laughs> it's like unbelievable. Only one bogey for Missy to get that nine down. Holland, yeah, in that tie for second with Lisa Fakus and Own Scoggins, who are, will round out our lead card tomorrow. Yep, and this is going to be round two of four, all at Sunset Hills. The forecast is looking better and better as time goes on. We we're supposed to have some rain the first few days, but now it looks like maybe just a little rain tomorrow and then sunny the next couple days. But it is Illinois Midwest summer. Who knows what could happen? Could be a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you got to be under par to be in the top 20. It looks like uh, we got two two geese in the top 20. Honk. Honk. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're back. So uh, happy to be back in the swing of things and over on this side of the pond. Uh, come hang with us. We got three more rounds this week. Hope you like the geese because you're going to get a lot of us. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again to the Founders Club. And uh, that's all. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Honk. Honk. Thank you.